<laughs> Another really exciting day for us here today. Charlie went undercover last night to help me investigate Dawn Rescue. And he texted me just before midnight to say that he was going in like Flynn because he'd spotted my brother. So hopefully he's got some really incriminating footage that the Newsnight guys will just go ape crazy for. <laughs> As for my other pet project, well, Rafter is on the launch pad and ready for takeoff. Just a couple more rolls to cast and then we're ready to roll. <laughs> so bring it on. Oh, hi. Brian Edison from Seabeebs here. Yes, I'm, we're just making a new cartoon and we just wanted to interview one of your clients about being in the show. Mm hmm Yeah, the actor's name is... <coughs> Vanessa Redgrave. Hello? I should mention that the cartoon's about a plucky little Palestinian... Well... Could you ask her, please? I happen to know she feels very strongly about this issue. OK, thank you. Bye. Uh... <laughs> so, Charlie, how did last night go? Oh, so-so. Just, I can't help noticing one or two new things. Oh? That chap on the wall there, what department does he work in? He works in every department, Bri. It's just that. <laughs> I keep a pretty close eye on payroll, so I think I'd known if he ever worked here. Bri, uh -huh. can I ask you a question? Is it going to be about Jesus? I just want to ask you a quick question, Bri. No, if it's about Jesus. Yes. So... Can I just ask my question? No, yeah. it's okay. all right. Do you know why the blood of our oh, saviour... My... <gasps> Has Vanessa called back yet? No, not well, yet. Try her agent again. There's literally no way that she wouldn't jump at the chance to be involved in this programme. I mean, given her history of supporting the Palestinian cause. Oh, well, speak of the devil. It's Vanessa. Poppy, Miss Redgrave is not Satan. She is one of this country's greatest humanitarians and actresses. Well, 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 the prodigal son returns. Yeah, little Bible reference for you there, Matthew. Thought you'd like that. Look, we need to talk. He told me all about your nasty little documentary. Newsnight are very keen. Drop the investigation. <sighs> My dear little brother, never. I'm warning you, Bryony, I can make life very difficult for you. Oh, yeah? Take me to your little garage, will you? That's right. I know all about it. <laughs> it's nothing. It's just when Dan keeps his car. What type of car? A red one. Red? Like your lying, blushing face? Charlie told me all about the cartoon you're working mm -hmm. on. I can't believe the BBC would commission such a thing. Well, they are. Really? Yep, they love it. You're telling me the BBC are making a kids' cartoon that glorifies terrorism? One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter, Matthew. After all, wasn't Jesus often called a terrorist? No. No? Well, Nelson Mandela got called a terrorist. Mandela was a terrorist. I dare say when Jesus produced all those loaves and fishes out of nowhere, a fair few people of nervous disposition suffered panic attacks. But no one thinks about them, do they? And what about the people with wheat intolerances? And the vegetarians? They just had to starve, I suppose. I couldn't believe the BBC would sink any further. We've been greenlit. There's even talks of us moving straight to BBC One. <laughs> Disgusting. And Vanessa Redgrave is down to voice Rafter's wise old grandmother, Layla the Landmine. It just so. gets worse. Matthew, you wouldn't be filming me by any chance, would you? What? It's just that your phone looks like it's pointing suspiciously straight at me. It's <laughs> just resting up against the sugar bowl. Mm -hmm. Just as yours is reclining against the condiments in a similar fashion. I mean, you wouldn't be filming me, would you, Bryony? Of course not. <laughs> Hugo, look, yes, I'm afraid we have a bit of a situation down here. One of our staff has become a Christian. And? Well, I sack him, shouldn't I? Why? It's making everyone feel really uncomfortable. Why, why should you sack him just because he's a Christian? But what about that woman who got sacked from British Airways for wearing a crucifix? She took British Airways to court and the judge ruled in her favour, and quite rightly. What happened to diversity? Well, does diversity include Christians? <laughs> why wouldn't it? Well, being a Christian doesn't seem particularly diverse, that's all. People are entitled to their religious beliefs, Brian. Would you sack someone for being a Muslim or a Jew? Well, of course not, but that's because... Well... Because what? <laughs> well, you know. No, what? Well, because I want to keep all my limbs whilst also getting ahead in the entertainment industry. I'm not even going to ask you to explain that, for your own sake. Goodbye. 